Do I have what it takes to make you fall in love with me? Am I the real deal or just another one of those who fake it? Maybe I don't really know you. Maybe I. Hello everyone and welcome back to the new video. It's Ganpati season here in Mumbai and festivities are everywhere. Last week went in all cleaning, organizing, making sweets and delicious food at home. It was a week spent well. Today I have some delightful treat in store for you. Besan gur ke laddu and a delicious wrap and an interesting take on our favorite mayo. A different version maybe? These laddus are not only incredibly delicious but I might say quite healthy too. Reason of using ghee and natural jaggery. Before starting any basin recipes, my first recommendation is start by gathering all the ingredients you will need for the recipe. Because basin can burn really fast. In the medium hot karai we will start by adding ghee and once the ghee is hot enough we will add the basin. We have to roast the basin till it turns beautiful golden brown and absolutely aromatic. Patience is key here. We will add mava and wait till it melts. Once the mixture is combined well, we will add jaggery to this. Now you can adjust the jaggery quantity based on your liking. Now I will add spoonful of milk each time till the dough comes together. Add powdered cardamom and the delightful aroma is everywhere. Let this mixture cool down slightly until it is easy to handle. Grease your hand with little ghee to prevent it from sticking. Last week I was able to organize my dream art studio. It's been a pending on my list forever now. I wanted my studio to be full of lovely colors. I don't want to shy away from any color in this place. Each color encouraging enough for me to pick my brushes. 
I have kept the organization of this place very budget friendly and easy to access. It's still not complete but progress is the key. Tomorrow I am creating a delicious fusion of Indian and Mexican flavors. For that I have some prep to do and it begins by boiling some rajma. So today I have decided to make some rajma taco or wrap. I don't know, you tell me in the comments what exactly should I call this. But these are for sure full of flavor and protein packed. Perfect blend of spices and textures. But first, let's address the elephant in the room, the filling. So, my planning and meal prep always comes handy. In the heated pan, first I will quickly toss some mushrooms and bell peppers. You can also add corn if you like to. I have seasoned the oil with little bit of garlic as well. Once that's kept aside, in the same pan with little bit of oil, garlic, I'll saute the onion till it becomes aromatic and translucent. Followed by tomatoes and kidney beans. I'll add all the spices and a slurry made up of melon seeds, cashew and onions. Leave this to cook till it becomes mushy. Usually with Mexican food, a sour cream is served. I am making it in a desi version using paneer and the same slurry with little bit of salt and apple cider vinegar. Our homemade delicious sour cream is ready on a budget. For the crunchy filling, I have decided to go with lettuce, coriander, spring onions 
and some stir fried mushroom and bell peppers that we made earlier. I'll start by laying our ghar ki own roti and smear some butter on the other side. Flip the roti and start filling all the rajma filling and all the toppings that you like. I also added some cucumbers and cheese for Ishi's tacos. Topped with our homemade sour cream. This delight was ready for a hot skillet. Come on baby take a leap of faith. All the recipes along with measurements are in the description box for you. The tacos were a hit in my house, so were the laddus. They disappeared during the lunch time itself. In case you have watched till here and enjoyed it, then please consider subscribing to the channel as we bring new videos each week full of recipes and real homemaking. I leave you with the shots of Ganpati Visarjan in our condo and I hope to see you next week. Bye bye. Shut